Good day everyone, today we will be talking about GEMDAS. As you can see here, there are a lot of signs or operations. And when these signs put together in one equation, it follows a certain rule. And that rule is GEMDAS rule. So we have here an equation, 4 to the power of 3 minus open parenthesis 3 squared plus 9 close parenthesis divided by 3 times 5 is equal to n. There are a lot of operations in one equation. And our rule here is GEMDAS. When you say GEMDAS, we have here the order of operations starting from the grouping symbols. So in one equation, we start with grouping symbols. So parenthesis, the brackets, and the braces. Then after that, we have the exponents, then multiplication and or division, whichever comes first from left to right. As you can see, there's an arrow here. And after multiplication or division, next is addition and subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. Let's answer the equation using the Jantas rule. So we have here a group piece. Again, we follow groupings, exponent, multiplication, and or division, whichever comes first, addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. So we start for the grouping since in, in this equation, there is a group uh, inside the parenthesis. And inside the parenthesis, there's also operation, which is there's an exponent and addition. So inside the parenthesis, we have to follow Jemda's rule also. First, do the exponent, and then after that, we add 3 squared is 3 times 3, that is 9, plus 9, we do this first, the groupings, and we have here 18. So 9 plus 9 is 18, and the rest of the equation or the rest of the numbers that we are not going to perform, we just copy. So this is now our equation after the groupings. Let's proceed to exponent. So we have 4 cubed, so let's perform this first. 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, that is 64. So 4 cubed is 64. The rest of the numbers you just have to copy. So minus 18 divided by 3 times 5 is equal to n. So it's easier if you do it this way, you perform each operation. And then after that, there's no more exponent. We, we perform multiplication or division, whichever comes first. Now in this new equation, division comes before multiplication. So we divide first and then after that, we multiply. So 18 divided by 3, which is 6, and the rest you copy. So 64 minus 6 times 5 is equal to n. So then we multiply. We have 6 times 5, that is 30. Then 64 minus 30 is equal to 34. So this is our final answer. There is no addition. We proceed right away to subtraction. Let's have more examples. So we have uh, open parenthesis 150 minus 10 squared close parenthesis times 6 divided by 100 is equal to n. So that you will not get confused, you write here gem does. Now again, multiplication or division, whichever comes first, and addition or subtraction, whichever comes first. So there are times that you divide first before you multiply, and there are also times that you need to subtract before you add, whichever comes first in the equation from left to right. So let's rewrite the equation. And then we have here a grouping. There's a parenthesis. So we perform this parenthesis uh, operation. We have an exponent here and subtraction. So we perform the exponent first. So we have 10 squared, which is 10 times 10 and 100. So we have here 150 minus 100 that is 50 you copy the rest of the numbers since we are not going to perform it yet so we're we don't have any more grouping symbol in this equation next there is no exponent so we skip this let's proceed to multiplication or division whichever comes first so multiplication comes before division from left to right so we multiply first so 50 times 6 is 300 divided by 100 then we can simplify that that is equal to 3 next 15 minus 9 open and close parenthesis there's an exponent here outside the parenthesis times 8 is equal to n so 
following the gemdas rule, then we perform what's inside the parentheses. Let's rewrite it first. So we have 15 minus 9 because this is inside the parentheses. We have here the answer is 6. 15 minus 9 is 6. After that, there is an exponent outside, so you just have to copy it. So no more groupings. We're done with the grouping symbols. And there is a 2 as an exponent, so we perform the exponent. 6 times 6, so that is 36 times 8, so there is no division, there is no addition, subtraction. Our last operation is multiplication, so we multiply. 36 times 8 is equal to 288. Now take note that in here, we didn't perform the exponent because that the exponent is outside the parenthesis but if this two is inside you perform it first so again we only perform what's inside the grouping symbols next 50 minus 10 times 3 plus 80 divided by 4 is equal to n so following the gemdas rule we write here gemdas and let's write the equation so in this equation, there is no grouping symbol. There is also no exponent. So let's proceed to multiplication or division. Multiplication comes before division. So we multiply first. 10 times 3. Okay, so that is 30. And the rest, we copy the number. So 50 minus, and this is our answer, 30 plus 80 divided by 4 is equal to n. This is our new equation. Then after that, we're done with multiplication. Then let's proceed to division since there's a division. So we divide 80 divided by 4. That is 20. The rest you copy 50 minus 3 plus 20. And then uh, we perform subtraction because subtraction comes first before addition. So we subtract 50 minus 30. That is 20. Plus 20 you will get 40. Now take note, if this is your equation and if you sub you add it first before you subtract, you will get different answer. So if this is your first equation or first operation, 30 plus 20, which is 50. So 50 minus 50 is 0. So it's different. So you always follow the gemdas rule, addition or subtraction, whichever comes first. Next, 100 if I divide 10 times 6 minus 8 is equal to and we perform division first, so we have 100 divided by 10, that is 10 times 6 minus 8. Then, after that, we multiply, which is 10 times 6, 60 minus 8 is equal to 52. And last example, we have open parenthesis 30 minus 10, close parenthesis times 5 divided by 50 is equal to n. Following the operation or the gemdas rule, we perform what's inside the parenthesis. So that is 30 minus 10. Okay, so that is 20. The rest you copy the, the numbers and the operation. So times 5 divided by 50. Then you multiply first before you divide 20 times 5, which is 100 divided by 50 is equal to 